Hi everyone, uh, we are going to see about a topic, the sources of energy in the subject elements of mechanical engineering. The elements of mechanical engineering is a very important subject but to know the basics of engineering. Normally in day to day life we are using so many components and we are knowing the applications uh, what are all they but we don't know how they are functioning so the basic of elements of mechanical engineering basic elements okay this will help you to understand the concepts of how an application oriented uh, object is working right so first of all any components whatever we are using in our day to day life is based on energy either it may be a refrigerator or air conditioner or two wheeler bikes or car whatever it is so without any energy it cannot run so whatever we are using daily in your home the tube lights fans everything so we need some kind of energy for running this components so first we will see in this module we are going to see about what are the sources of energy and what are the kinds of energy uh, renewable resources uh, for the energy and we will see in the next uh, how the energy is getting created or produced with uh, different forms of resources okay now let me go uh, and see what is uh, an energy so in this main topic we are going to see about renewable energy sources uh, renewable and non renewable energy sources we will see before that we will go to what is an energy energy is normally a capacity to do work or ability to do work so any kind of system it has to perform a work in the sense it it needs some energy right either it may be heat energy or light energy or kinetic energy mechanical energy whatever energy it is so the energy is the ability to do work so we use uh, to you to mix uh, the if you use mixy electrical energy fan electrical energy all the energy we need is one and it is converted to another form of energy later we will discuss about this so the energy resources uh, here what we can energy sources we can it may be a, a renewable energy or non renewable energy what is renewable what is non renewable okay uh, a non renewable resource we cannot that is once if it is used it cannot be replaced so the source of energy or conventional source of energy being accumulated in nature for a long time and cannot be replaced if exhausted you can say that as a non renewable energy sources which is uh, example is the coal petroleum gas natural gases and nuclear power these are all already it is there in the earth okay for a long period it's available here but once if it is utilized then we cannot get it back okay that is what uh, the non renewable energy sources so what do you mean by your renewable energy means it is continuously and freely available in nature and you can utilize it uh, and again it can be generated regenerated automatically uh, one content one volume if you use another volume it will be available it's so it is available in nature and it is getting renewed newly so example is our solar energy daily we are using the solar energy but tomorrow also we are getting the next day also we will get the solar energy like biomass as and the geothermal thermal energy that is inside the earth the heat what it is there and the wind energy right tidal energy these are all non this is uh, sorry these are all the renewable energy sources now let me see what is the difference between the renewable energy sources and the non renewable energy sources as we discussed earlier uh, renewable energy in the sense it can be uh, utilized repeatedly it can we can get it back and back so that is uh, normally it is present in the atmospheres earth atmosphere we will call it as a renewable energy sources here non renewable Uh, like petrol or coal or natural gases whatever it is under the earth 
it is ground layers of the earth we can dig it and only we will get it that is a non renewable energy sources where we are getting it and uh, in short period this uh, renewable energy resources can be replaced continuously but non renewable means once if you used it cannot be replaced that is absolute so we can uh, we cannot uh, reproduce the same so that is a non renewable and there is uh, there are abundance uh, available natural uh, reserve energy or uh, abundance uh, wind energy or solar energy uh, everything but the coal uh, petroleum these are all uh, very less so in uh, future it may uh, get exhaust right and now uh, another fourth point if you see this difference uh, the renewable resource of energy do not affect the environment if they even if they burn if we burn it won't get polluted but if you use the non renewable energy the petrol and the coal or gases if you burn it it will uh, produce a smog and uh, it will create uh, air pollution and finally uh, it will cause a uh, Uh, global warming so it will go for that level and uh, renewable energy sources it is cheap in nature it is che- easily available so it's cheap in nature but non renewable it's costlier so because of uh, taking and processing so many things and then only we will get the fuel uh, how we are going to use it okay so the uh, examples of uh, renewable energy sources is whatever we are reusable sources that is uh, solar energy wind energy hydel energy that is water hydro power and geothermal energy these are the examples for the renewable and for the non renewable sources the crude oil the minerals and uh, what are the ores we are getting from that uh, earth they are called the non renewable energy resources then what is a fossil fuel we will say what is a fossil fuel fossil fuel is the one where uh, for the billion years ago okay we say that uh, carnivorous period carbonivorous period uh, around approximately 362 uh, 400 million years ago uh, that uh, whatever the natural uh, so- sources the plants and the organisms they uh, get buried what they uh, after a period of time they get buried and due to the uh, earth's pressure and the temperature inside the earth Uh, layers okay we we know that everything is uh, inside the earth is warmer they right? just started and the crust is I mean, magma you have a hot temperature area inside the earth so uh, due to the pressure and temperature inside the earth uh, this uh, plants and the other animals organisms uh, organisms which got buried it becomes hardened and due to the pressure so coal is formed and the oil is formed because of some plankton and zooplankton and algae like uh, organisms so that also uh, due to the pressure is it had a some uh, organic uh, complex matter it converts and it decomposed into oil so that you will get it just like uh, that gas also we are getting natural gas so the same process oil uh, is like that some amount of heat and pressure causing for the decomposition of the oil and it becomes a gas so the fossil fuel uh, is uh, we get due to the buried of the animals and the organi- organisms but that's cannot be we have, we can use it we can uh, get it in we can use it but we cannot uh, replace it okay so once it gets used it is uh, exhausted so that non exhaustible uh, this is the renewable energy sources and non renewable sources are the very important uh, sources of energy and uh, nowadays since the uh, non renewable uh, resources are going to exist in future we are going to find a new alternative sources of energy that is the next what we are going to study in the further topics okay what are the uh, so renewable sources and how it is going to be utilized like that we are going to see in the next slides right